all good afternoon from Bolton now Manchester just on the outskirts so apparently 10 15 years ago this was the place to be and oh we're already started here off to a good start here nice uh, sort of building so this is a Saturday this anyway so about 10-15 years ago this was the place to be if you wanted to work in Manchester stay here the rent was about 20-30% cheaper get the train in get a bus in everyone started flocking here but apparently in the past five ten years it's probably declined and walking past these buildings now we're off to a we're off to a good start with that so we're going to walk around get down some back streets i think we're going to find a lot of good dingy pubs as well on this one so let's see what's kicking off Yeah. Nice building gone to waste there. There we go, got a few boarded up places here. This is a little road here, used to have lap dancing clubs down here. They've all got all been knocked down down there. Uh pub there. That's not open, but anyway, down here, all along there, you saw like strip clubs and stuff like that. Knocked them all down quite a few years ago, but uh, I reckon that would have been pretty dingy and pretty good to be fair. You know, if you're on a night out and all your mates have pulled and you haven't, you could have gone here, but not anymore. All right, it's a pub, the old Three Crowns. That looks like a beast. Big blue building here, don't know what uh, what that was or what it's supposed to be or if it is going to be anything. You know it's a uh, pretty bad when pound stretch is shut down. Some very nice Victorian age buildings here and the shops underneath them are open. There we go. Not bad that, not bad. Now apparently the high street's been hit quite hard here in Bolton. It's been hit everywhere quite hard with online and COVID and stuff like that. So we're going to check that out. So, like I say, if the high street's junk anyway and you live here, you can just go to Manchester to be fair, so it's not, it's not all bad. This little, uh, little square here with the pubs uh, around it and a uh, pizza place and stuff like that, Weatherspoon's behind me. This place actually looks half decent. Nice little dragonfly there. Weatherspoons is behind me there, you've got a pack horse here which is some students, so a lot of students live around here as well by the way. The green room, tell you what, around here it looks like it'd be a, be a right night out. Green room. Circle. Well, here we go, your first, uh, this don't look too dingy to be fair, but looks like it'd uh, be a right laugh full of characters this pub, the northern way. 
To be honest, it is a Saturday, so I might get into a pub. Oh, look at this, see a nightclub as well. Level. Here we go. Imagine people all behind me here, all queuing up. Outside area of the Northern. Level here. But it's a right night out there. Yates is behind me, another uh, another bar. We've got this building here, Courtney's. Derelict building, quite a nice building that. I don't know what it used to be. Summit, I don't know, but. Chicken shop. But it's looking like any other sort of town, to be fair. A few places shut, but the drinking scene around here looks pretty banging to be fair. Can I get a nice Guinness in there? You're laughing. Not a bad little church there in front, right in the centre. So right in front. I don't know what it is, don't know what it was. I don't know if it's been done up. But that building there. Quite a nice building that, it's not too bad to be fair. Don't know how long it's been like that for. This bit looks all right, it's well kept. Marketplace, I don't know if it's open. Nice, some doors there look quite nice and tall. And you've got cinema behind the light cinema, which is meant to be an half decent cinema to be fair. It's better than the Odin's, got proper dumps and disgusting inside. Popcorn everywhere and that. Is this open? Oh, not it. oh Jesus, yeah, it is open. What's kicking off in here? place down here is pretty sick to be fair got some crazy golf activities food cinema restaurant the lost valley it's pretty all right down here oh, nice stones stones are all right it's not just too bad around here at the minute it's just like your local sort of place there's actually some nice buildings around here got the albert hall there Look at all this around here. It's not actually too bad. It got a lot of slagging off online this area, but at the minute I don't think it's too bad. Got some nice little fountains here, well kept. Great War Monument there, the Great War, the First World War, which is referred to as the Great World War. Nice little touching monument there, it's quite nice. Up ahead we've got Bolton Market, which looks like probably one of the best markets I've seen around in a town centre like this in the UK, so let's go see what's kicking off there, eh? It's just clothes, nothing else really. And blankets, and curtains, and duvets, and towels. It's my type of street, this. Two pubs next to each other, independent pubs, non e franchise. Franchise malarkey. Sky Sports getting there on a Saturday, like today. Watch United get battered as usual. And the Millstone next door. Good little meeting point, that. Thank you. 
So you watch the right sick market there, it's got everything to be fair. Meat, veg, all your fish. So it looks pretty premium. That's pig's head there. Smells quite fresh as well. Normally when you go to markets it's a bit fishy but sort of like dirty gone off fishy. Quite nice. That's Bolton anyway. So not too bad. I think it's alright to be fair. Don't know about living here because I haven't really been to the outskirts, just the centre. But it looks alright for a night out. Close to Manchester. Places will still be cheap round here to rent, which ain't too bad. So, personally, I think it's alright. It's not too bad. It's no grimmer than any other town. Nice little bridge here. Well, I won't say nice, but. You know? So, yeah. So, I'll still stick around Manchester sort of area because I'm a bit skint at the minute, so I can't get uh, up and down the country. But when it gets summer, days get longer, I'll be up and down the country try and get a bit more better content so on that note I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one